This is in touch repair, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the ribbon cable that runs underneath here. Um, if you have a phone and the touch button has stopped working or these have stopped lighting up, that's more than likely because when the ribbon cable that runs underneath here got cut or scratched or messed up. So, um, for ease of this video, I've gone ahead and taken off the back. I'm going to put the battery in. All right, so it's turned on. As you can see, I have the main board connected. I have the screen connected. I have the S Pen stylus connected. I have the charger cable connected. And I have that actual ribbon cable that we're talking about. It connects in right here. Um, this is the actual ribbon cable that we're going to be talking about. And what you see is just that part of that little guy right there. I'll show you how he folds up underneath it. So, the screen's on, as you can see. Um, the touch button, it doesn't work, right? Um, it should be going back to the home page. If you notice these buttons right here, they're not illuminated. Now, that's because in the one I have, it's damaged. Now, um, that's more than likely because someone tried to take off the screen, and when they took off the screen, they weren't careful and cut off the ribbon cable. Um, I can't think of any other situation where that ribbon cable would get cut on a new phone that hasn't been refurbished or serviced. So um, I'm going to go ahead and turn the phone back off and um, show you how the ribbon cable is cut. Okay, so I've turned off the phone. The battery's been removed. Um, you have this one black screw in this corner here. And that guy holds down the entire main board. I have all the other screws removed. Um, so all I have to do after that is come in here and pop the ribbon cables. That's the S Pen stylus ribbon cable. This one right here, that is the actual LCD ribbon cable connection. This one right here is the one we're talking about. That is the one that controls the home button and the little um, touch lights next to the home button. And this one is the charge cable. So we're actually going to remove the charge cable. I'm set that aside. And we're going to take the main board out carefully. I'm going to set that right here. Okay. Now, now you can see a little bit more this cable as it runs and then it tucks in on the other side of the chassis. Um, as you can see here, this is the same, oop, same cable and then that's your touch button and your two lights. Okay, so I've already taken the screen off of this, so when you see me just peel the screen off, don't freak out. Um, this one, this screen isn't really even glued on anymore. It's just sitting on for demonstration purposes so that I can take it off real fast and show you all what's going on. Um, so normally you have to heat the screen up and be really careful at how you pry it off. But for right now, like I said, it's just barely on there. So that's way easier than you'll <laughs> be able to do it if you have a brand new phone that the screen has never been taken off of. Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside right there. And now if you notice, you see what you saw over here is this ribbon cable that touches. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start with this end and we're going to peel it up really carefully. It's glued on there pretty good. And what you'll notice is that it goes in onto the other side and then the ribbon cable runs along the bottom. Okay. It's finally able to get underneath that. Another one comes up. Nope, see that? There's your problem. The ribbon cable was cut right there. And that's something that you'll see pretty often whenever um, people are replacing the screens. They don't know um, that the ribbon cable is there and they'll have their knife or whatever object they're prying the screen off and they'll just cut right through it. So now um, we can take this. 
take the, the new ribbon cable as you see it lays right back in there so then you put that guy in there and then just kind of snake it through like so and you just line everything back up everything has a little indention of spot so you know just kind of where it goes and then you just kind of push it in it should have some sticky on the back some adhesive to help hold it make sure that's in place and you're gonna flip it over line all this back up this chip has a special indention that it sticks into like that you should be good to go okay so now we can put the main board back on put the battery and powered on and see if the touch button responds and the two lights turn on okay I went ahead and put the main board back in now I need to connect all the ribbon cables that's S Pin Stylus that's the LCD and this one is the one that we fixed that should be the home button and the two LED touch buttons that light up alright now go ahead and turn it on and hopefully if everything went well you'll see these two LEDs light up and the home button when I press it it'll return the phone to the home aha see they lit up this is good. Alright, so now if we go away from home screen and then I push the button. Yep, perfect. So, um, if you can get the screen off, um, you can replace that ribbon cable and get your home button and your lights to work perfectly. Um, oh yeah, I, can, I guess I can also show you that those buttons also work. Go menu, settings, and go back. So it's a pretty easy fix if you can get the glass off. Again, I had already taken the glass off, so for the demonstration, it was pretty easy. Um, but after you do that, then you can just go ahead and get your glass, put it back on, and put everything back together, and you got yourself a fixed note too.